Hello and welcome back to another part of the character modeling tutorial. Uh, we'll continue today to work on the costume and today's part will be about you know this um, what she's wearing on her upper body. Not the west yet but um, that piece below. So we will do that a lot by using again um, you know, tools to um, shrink other objects onto the surface of something else. Just doing a quick correction here that I didn't quite like. Anyways, um, so I will create a new object and start off by centering it and the scene by pressing Alt-G. Um, you know, this, this combination here. Then in edit mode, delete everything and create one new vertex by pressing control and clicking once. Now if you activate here the magnet and you move it, it will land on top of the surface. So you can now activate the mirror modifier and if you want to activate this icon here and you can start modeling. So first of all I'm going to you know follow some of the outlines that are important. Um, so here the first one. Let's just follow along here after getting that direction. We'll, we will continue without um, you know, without reference. By the way, as for the back side, uh, just go ahead and look up some original artworks to see how it looks. I've uh, kind of memorized it, but you know, here's again the version, so just connect it to back here basically. That's it. So next thing to do is let's say let's make this one quickly. So if you activate clipping you have easier times positioning it and you just might want to make a subdivision here already at this point to make sure that this is going to be sharp since it should be corner a uh, uh, corner so next thing that I want to um, make is this line let's just connect this to here for now uh, we'll worry about that line later and this one goes down here and then a copy of it to here And let's go once again. And now, uh, as for you know this line here, it's rather straight. But to really keep us on track, I'm going to you know do the entire length at once, and then subdivide it and adjust the the segments to really get them correct, like that. Um, okay, next line. Keep in mind that if you select multiple points, uh, they will not be uh, aligned individually. They will be aligned to the group at wherever your mouse is hovering at. Just so you know. Um, I guess it was something like that. Now here is the second one. We will have to just wrap it around here a little bit. If I'm correct. And here another one. And now over here we have to do some guesswork. I think it starts from here and goes to say around here. Let's copy this and make sure we have it set up. Then I will subdivide these and reposition them. Subdivide these again. Over here we'll need a um, you know space for these ones to join.
and down here we need to connect these um, so I guess it's not much different from everything else we did well, maybe one subdivision will not be enough here so just add another one if necessary but uh, by the way I didn't mention uh, while doing this I always try to line things up already in the progress so you see how you know there are almost always something on the opposite side I really don't do that consciously anymore it's just uh, you just need them on the opposite side kind of so <coughs> yeah this is kind of a tricky um, topic generally to know where, uh, how many for, for a simple line where to place um, you know points and where not to but that's that's one of the things that you learn if you practice more because you don't want to place too many points because you can't handle them at at some point uh, and you also don't want to to use too little amounts because then you know of course you don't have the high amount of detail so it's a bit tricky it can't be really scribed well or I can at least um, and you know you should be able to do something like this as well so we have the most important lines here done um, now we cannot see what's you know below our code um, so you have to come up with something mm. and this is kind of difficult at this point well first of all let's start with um, everything else up here so you know we see here that it's going up a bit so we can kind of guess where it's going so let's start here go to here go to here and just hope that you know you're kind of getting things right I'm going to let this one hover though because it's going to you know be a bit more um, it will have a bit more distance to skin here then from here on I guess it goes something like that and now this will be underneath the scarf and, uh, scarf and coat but I will give it a try to just mount something that looks a bit like uh, a reasonable design just so in case um, you know in some action we we see what whatever is um, underneath that code. We should have something there. So just make a simple solution for that, just in case we need it. So that's that. We will now also do something similar for you know the arms. I mean, we're not going to. Um, we're just going to make the clothes stop here, so we need a loop that is pretty much the same as this one. So just follow that. Maybe here will be a bit more inside, uh, outside I mean. But that's just again up to you how you want to design the clothes. Maybe we'll need more vertices here, or maybe less, but that will turn out later. Great. Alright, um, next we have a couple of shapes here um, that we don't really see well, but we have to try to guess them. So from here to here maybe, I'm subdividing again and positioning and then it kind of goes down like this and then to here 
And I'm guessing that these are connected, this darker line and over here. So I'm thinking that it might look like that. Below. Maybe this. <laughs> so, but really, that is that is totally up to you, depending on how you want to, um, you know, create it. Just come with something that you like. And let's see if there's any information in the back, but not really for us. So, we'll create another similar, you know, chamber like here. and try to continue the same style as the original artwork. So at the moment we still stick a lot to you know the the model that we created so far before but later on we will um, you know change all the volumes and make it thicker. This is really just our layout and our guides for later on filling everything. In my opinion, that's a pretty easy workflow to follow. So uh, we're using that one here. Yeah, pretty much just trying things out. And if you like something, that's great. So I just also tried a few different versions here. And I'm going through some others in my head. But that looks kind of good. And again, most of this will not be seen, so it's not that big of a deal. And Generally speaking, once again, I think I've talked about this topic already, but um, I wouldn't worry too much about doing something wrong, to be honest. And you could really criticize that and, you know, ask why I'm so often saying just don't worry about it, don't worry about it. But in the end, uh, this is really just, I mean, there is no right and wrong in, in this in what we're doing, basically. So, whatever you do and whatever looks good and whatever you're happy with is the right thing, in my opinion. So, don't keep yourself from, you know, if you stop at some point because you're frustrated, because you think you're technically not ready enough for something, that is just a bad reason to give up, in my opinion. So, I'm always tending to, to say it's not a big deal. Just continue, it's okay. Um, yeah, because it really doesn't matter. Of course, if you find out ways to do it better, why not using them? But if it's um, not possible to do anything about it at the time, uh, then don't be frustrated about it and just accept it and still continue the work. That's awful. So over here, I'm now starting this... Um, this line that goes down. So we'll need quite a few police here to really follow that. And be careful with the thickness, it should be quite even. And if you want to rip something apart that is in the middle where the mirror axis is, don't forget to deactivate clipping and to reactivate it when you connect uh, things again. So that might be our layout. No, actually we forgot something over here. Um, we could, yeah, I think I have an idea about how to close this area. So what I think what would look good probably is to just continue to here and over here I will close this area with yet another of these lines. Great. 
I'm not sure yet how they will impact in you know the topology of this area here and everything. Um, but the shapes are here. Uh, we know what we're going to make. Uh, we're going to leave it as it is for this part since it has been already quite some time and we'll continue working on it next time. Thank you for watching as always. I hope you learned something.